I want to do a um, chi-square test of independence and uh, to do that I need to compute the expected frequencies. So I want to show how to compute the expected frequencies for this 2x2 two two contingency table. And uh, what we want to do is uh, one cell, we have one, two, three, four cells and we're going to do the expected frequencies for um, one cell at a time. So we're going to start here for this cell and that's going to be we're going to put that expected frequency in those parentheses. Now we're going to take the row total here, these two numbers, and add them up and we get 436. So I take 436, or the row total, times the column total, which is 192 and 43, so we get 235. So again, this cell here is in this first row. We take that row total. This is in this column, so we take that column total. Row total times column total, all divided by total number in the entire table is 560. So I'm going to multiply over here, 436 times 235 235 equal to, and then divided by 560. Okay, so I get 182.96. We're going to round that to 183. So we have 183. And then we're going to do this next one here. Take that row total. Oops, let me write here, 183. Okay, we're going to take this row total of 124 times this column total, 235, all divided by 560. And again, we're going to take uh, 124 times 235, enter, divided by 560, and we get 52. So I'm going to come back over here, put in 52. Now for this one, we take this row total of 436. This was 52. So 436. This column total is 325. I'll divide it by 560. I'm going to get 4... 6 times 325, enter, and then divided by 560, and we get 253. So this is going to be 253, and then the last one, this row total here is 124. This is 124 times this column total of 325 I'll divide it by 560 and again I'll go over to the calculator 124 times 325 divided by 560 you get 71.96 so we're going to make that 72 so that's how you would compute the uh, expected frequencies.